I don't want to be on your camera. Well, then you I have to get a job in the private sector, ma'am. You're in public. Okay, I'm not going to wait on you. You can go. I'm not no, gonna... I need a stamp. Right there. Sorry. Oh, no. We refuse to... No, who put that sign up? The camera's got to go. How's it going guys? Watching the Watchman here, coming to you from Billings, Montana. Uh, we're here at the downtown post office. And as usual, we're going to take some video here, um, outside, inside, and see if the folks here respect our First Amendment right to do so. So we'll see how it goes. And so is the MIA POW flag beneath it. Um, and by the way, I always also like to mention, uh, MIA POW, not forgotten, never forget. But we're definitely going to see if we have an opportunity to speak to someone about this uh, condition of this flag here today and see what else is going on. So, uh, stand up. Yeah, I don't know if you guys were able to see that, but the flag is pretty uh, dirty and torn up, like AP was saying. How you doing today, Watcher? What's up? Ready cold. Ready to go in? Yeah. It's cold, so we're gonna go, <laughs> we're gonna go in faster than usual. Well, Shady you. side of the building. Let's see what's in here. Please use other door. And this one's propped over. Nah, I like this one. <laughs> Wonder what's over here. This is a field office for the U.S. Department of Interior and Office of Inspector General. I'm sorry? Can I help you? No, I'm all right. Thank you, though. You're not supposed to be in here filming. Sure. Why, why is that? Because you're not supposed to be in here filming. Is that like a law? Is there? Yeah. Really? Tell me to get the postal inspector. Have you ever looked at the rules and regulations of the post office? Do you want me to get the postal inspector? Do you want to know what the rules are? Or? Yeah, I'd actually like to. Is the postmaster available? I'll get you. Okay, thank you. Gonna take a look around first, but I guess we'll get yeah. right into the meat of things here. Yeah. Well, since I'm standing that line already, might as well get my stand. Yeah. Once it comes out faster. Ten seconds in, she's trying to tell me it's illegal. She told you it was illegal uh -huh. to take video in here. Uh -huh. She didn't get the memo. Hello. How can I help you guys? How are you? Well, I got two things. I got to buy a stamp, okay, and then I also, um, I don't want to yell across these folks. Can maybe can I speak to you out here? So my name's Jason. Are you, are you a postmaster? Nope. Uh, I'm a supervisor. Supervisor, okay. Can I just ask what your name is? Scott. Scott. Okay, nice to meet you, Scott. Um, the American flag and the POW flag that are hanging outside. It is in the process of being fixed. We are waiting on um, facility services to get the strap on the inside of it fixed. Because we can't, we can't roll it up, can't roll it down. Right at the moment to be able to get it replaced. I've got a replacement I've sitting got back here. I got you, okay. So I've got it all set as so much as they can get that actual strap Scott's on the job. On the yes. Right on. That's awesome. No, because I just, I just hate to see that. When it, you know. I'm with you. Good. I, I really am. No, and no, I've, been on, I've been on it for the last month and a half trying to get these guys out here to get this done. Well, maybe we'll be able to help you get that done a little faster. Okay. Yeah. So we'll see what we can do. But I appreciate you, Scott. I'm glad to hear you're on top of it and things are getting straightened out. Okay. Um, and maybe I just reminded you, maybe follow up, make another phone call. Keep chirping. You know, you know how government is. you got to keep hammering, man. No. Don't put the hammer down. 
No. <laughs> no. Yeah, we got to get that changed. Absolutely. All right. No, so we'll come, we'll come back in a week and check on you and see okay. if it's good. But we'll try to help you out. Thanks. Appreciate you, Scott. No, that's good. Yeah. Good on Scott. All right, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Have a good afternoon. Stay healthy. Hello. Can I have one stamp, please? Did you think it was illegal to film here? I don't want to be on your camera. Well, then you I have to get a job in the private sector, ma'am. You're in public. Okay, I'm not going to wait on you. You can go. I'm not no, gonna... I need a stamp. Right there. Sorry. Oh, no. We re re refuse to No, who put that sign up? You better get Scott back out here and have him sell me a stamp. You're not going to refuse to help me. No, I don't know why you got to come in here and cause trouble. I'm not, I just spoke to your supervisor about a very serious issue going on here at the post office, and he care. agrees with me. I don't want you on. I don't want to be on your camera. Well, it's a good thing you're not president, and I need to buy a stamp from you. You are, though, right? No, I'm just looking to buy a stamp, man. And you're giving people bad information, not me. And you're ripping the money out of my hand there? You're going to throw it at me? What is your name? You don't have to report everything. She's doing a good job. Thank her for that. No, Hi. she's not doing a good job. Yes, she is. No, not at all. Yes, she is. No, well, you can support but, that in any way you want. Yeah, I'll, and I will. I'll mind my own business. Thank you. All right. No, you don't because you're videoing sure. everything. But so that's what, okay. Have a nice day. Of course it's okay. You have a nice day, too. What did she do? Go underneath the desk? Where'd she seriously just go? I think she went in the back. I don't nice. know. Scott. The, ca the, ca the cameras have got to go. I'm sorry. No, that's not actually true. That's fine. That's not, have you ever read okay. your poster seven that's hanging on the wall? And we also see right here. Okay. That's that's an illegal Guys. sign. Listen, you don't know what we're doing here. So we had a very cordial conversation. Let's just stay I, that I, way. Scott, I appreciate you. Okay. I told you I think you're doing a very good job. I appreciate you being and on top fine. of things here. But one person's feelings does not change the structure of the way the United States government functions. People, you need to leave the facility, please. I'm not going to leave the facility. You're out of your mind. Wow. Well, fire starter, aren't you? You're the fire starter. Twisted fire starter. What a ridiculous woman. You're gonna call uh, Federal Protection Services so they can educate you today? Why don't we get Homeland Security down here and they'll tell you what the deal is. And Scott was doing so well, you know? You give, you give people any authority, even as the clerk behind the counter at the post office. And she's, what is this sign? We refuse the right to, re, we, we reserve the right to refuse service to anyone? For asking a question? <laughs> I reserve the right to file very serious complaints against both of these people. Where's Poster 7? It was, it was right where we were standing over there. Is that there. one right behind you, too? Yeah. All right, guys, so everybody knows Poster 7, but for those of you who don't know, this is Poster 7, which is the rules and regulations governing conduct on postal property. Uh, there is a paragraph here, which is titled, Photographs for News, Advertising, or Commercial Purposes, which outline the fact that we are allowed to be here taking uh, pictures. It says photographers, I'm sorry, for photographs for news purposes may be taken in entrances, lobbies, foyers, corridors, or auditoriums when used for public meetings. Now I want people, there's a lot of confusion with this. That's why it says or auditoriums when used for public meetings. So it doesn't mean that the lobby and the entrances and the foyers have to be being used for public meetings. It means if they have an auditorium, which most post offices do not, um, there can only be photographs taken in that auditorium when there's a public meeting taking place. Uh, let's see. So, except where prohibited by official signs, which there are none, security force personnel, which there are none here, or authorized personnel, which there is nobody here that's authorized to change the rules and regulations governing conduct on postal property, that would come from somebody way higher up than Scott, um, or a federal court order, which there is none, or rule. 
Other photographs may be taken only with the permission of the local postmaster. So that means if you're not taking pictures for news, advertising, or commercial purposes, you need the permission of the postmaster. So it's very simple to understand. It's in black and white. Uh, you have to have a basic knowledge of punctuation <laughs> in the English language, but it is very clear. I can't believe it's just abandoned the desk. <laughs> It's remarkable. So we have somebody coming down to educate you today, man? I don't know if she heard you. Oh, she heard me. <laughs> She's just, I don't know. Government employees, yeah. Some are great, some are not. Great right man. Cool. Like boots, that's what you get. She'll be great with you until she's not. <laughs> yeah. No, but, uh, I don't know. I think, uh, in all seriousness, I think the uh, behavior here of this postal employee is horrifying. Uh, Scott, who's the supervisor, came out, discussed the flag issue with us, and had absolutely no concern about us taking video whatsoever. Didn't even mention it. Went in the back, and this lady's just stirring up trouble. So she's going to learn how it goes today. She was just hiding behind the wall and like poke her head out. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, so we'll wait around for a few minutes and see what happens. Stand by. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Scott seemed like he knew what he was talking about, but yeah. it went downhill fast. She almost didn't want to sell me my stand. Yeah. She didn't even give me a receipt. I never got my receipt. Imagine me being able to get one. <laughs> this is some joke. I mean, this is the United States Post Office who has their rules and regulations of conduct on postal property posted in two different locations in this lobby. And I was almost refused service and uh, can't even get my receipt. I'm sure if I ask her, she's not going to give it to me. So. Wow. It's amazing the people that you have working here. Oh, I'm just waiting for my receipt from my sand that I purchased. That you're a video <laughs> If I could please grab that receipt from you when you're done, that would be great. She's not going to give it to me. Ma'am, may I please have my receipt? computer things so every time I put in my Man, can I please have my, my receipt from you my claim number it said I didn't have a valid claim number every single time it just I won't even let me file a claim and then I'm pretty sure that I didn't even get a receipt yeah I didn't get a receipt, receipt from February 4th but you didn't give me a receipt from February 5th I don't believe because I keep my receipt another guy who didn't get a receipt sorry can you step out of the buzzer, sir? I'm just waiting for my receipt. Okay. If you guys want to get rid of me, give me my receipt. Okay. And that's what I think I didn't get. Yeah, I yeah this guy didn't get his receipt in. This is something totally different. This is a guy. I don't mind if you film. He doesn't mind if I film. There you go. Very good. Thank you, sir. Sure, yeah. They lost my uh, my uh, Patagonia $350 uh, backpack. Well, oh, maybe that's why they don't want us filming anymore. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. And I need your name and your name. You already have my name. All right, well, what's her first name? I need it for the complaint that I'm going to file. So in that case, you have to give it to me. Do I have to give anything? You've got my name. My name is Scott. I need her. I'm asking am, for her first name. I'm not I, asking for her I social am, security sir, numbers. I am the supervisor of this office. Okay. You've got my name. How do I identify that young lady? She's she a public is, employee and she needs she to identify herself. She's the only herself. clerk that I have in here. Ever? She's at, the, this, at this night, at this time of night, yes. So you she can't give me, can you give me her first initial of her first name? C. C. There you go. Thank you, Scott. Yep. Hey, Scott, one last, one last question, then I'm gone. Did you call the police? Did I? Because if you did, I want to wait for him. No. 
You did? No. You sure about that? Because I don't run Absolutely. away from the police. Sir, there is no police coming. Okay. There is no reason for the police to come. Well, no, no, you guys are telling, you're refusing sir. service, you're telling us we can't videotape, and you're, you're losing sir. people's packages, not giving out receipts, you got a lot going on. you got a tattered flag and a POW flag outside. Let's yep. get it together, Scott. Seriously. Let's seriously get it together, man. Just take a deep breath and pull yourself together. And instruct your employee to stop creating problems. She's a fire starter and she's making a scene. And that's not the way you're supposed to be treating the public. You people are public servants. Start acting like it. And if you don't like that, go get a job in the private sector. Do your job and do it properly. And do it with some integrity and pride, Scott. That's my advice to you. And I wish you would have called police, because I'd love to have a conversation with them. I wish you would call Homeland Security. I'm going to wind up having a conversation with them anyway. This, this post office is being run like a mess. This woman does not run the federal government. She does not run this post office, and she certainly doesn't run my life. My wife's got that covered. So you got to tell her to stop trying to deny service to people. Stop treating the public like she owns anything in this building, because she does not. She's been given the privilege of working for us. And I would like to have a little courtesy when I come in. I've been nothing but courteous with you. Correct? Yep. Well, thank you very much, Scott. And I hope you straighten out this problem, because we're going to be back to check on you. And find this guy's package. Have a good afternoon, sir. Yeah, you do the same. You guys saw how this went. And uh, it's not what we like to see. That woman working behind the counter, uh, first initial of her name is C. Uh, according to Scott, I mean, maybe I can find her name from that. I'm not sure. It depends how many people work here. But, uh, you know, it's not what we like to see. It's very uh, inappropriate and unprofessional behavior here from from Scott and that woman. And, uh, you know, it was looking good at first. You know, Scott looked like he was going to do the right thing and respect our rights. But, you know, uh, the woman, first initial C that was working there, decided to flip out. And Scott decided to... Uh, take her side and you know tell us we couldn't be in here filming and that we had to leave and whatever but I mean he didn't call the cops uh, AP got his stamp and his receipt and uh, you know that's it for this one guys so at the end of the day I would say that they tried to attempt uh, to violate our rights they were definitely unsuccessful and uh, just the behavior in general was just ridiculous guys so if you have any feedback as usual, all the contact info will be in the description, and you can let us know what you think. If you like these videos, you appreciate these videos, uh, check out my other social media, subscribe, uh, hit the like button, comment, turn on notifications. That's about it for this one, guys. Watching the Watchmen, out with him against the press. See you on the next one, guys. Out.